All right, so this is what I found uh, about. Uh, I was doing a live stream yesterday, and I've stuck with one thing, and uh, yeah, I want to do it again. I've deleted that video because it was pointless to watch it. Uh, actually, I'll just uh, update you what I found and what I fixed on it. This quad. So I've replaced camera. So I've got this is uh, Omnibus uh, F4 version 3 I believe it's got a memory card slot over here so you can recognize it like this and uh, yeah so we've got camera in signal positive and negative on the other side we've got VTX in this case I'm using eShin TS5840 200 milliwatts pretty good I've got one in my wizard as well over there so pretty good PTX really good signal on it so you've got VTX signal positive and negative on this side then you've got uh, your LEDs and buzzer so connections are if I can show you first pin it's uh, white it's for LED then we've got positive and negative and then says LED, LED no buzzer sorry it's a buzzer signal over here if I can focus on it, yeah. So I've got buzzer signal, then I've got ground positive and LED next to that chip, right in corner. So you'll see it first, first row. Then on third pin, I've got uh, connectors for power of this flight controller. So power coming from your 12 volt. Oh, no, sorry, it's B, but yeah, it's a uh, V, but of your like uh, 41 ESCs so it's coming here third pin one two three as you can see a third row in the middle you've got positive this is ground of course G and D as you can see and uh, on the other side it's just receiver for now I've got small one like this FS 8x s or something FS a 8 s it's a terrible one so I'm installing this one that will be in a sec so there'll be brand new uh, receiver for strong connection but anyway, your receiver coming here, your IBUS receiver. Come on. Right, so we've got negative, positive in the middle, and signal. And that's it. That's your flight control is hooked up, you know. So, and uh, I will. Turn it on. I need to put it back together, but that's why I'm waiting to go to do the video. And I'm running Runcam Mini because it don't need OSD because OSD is built into flight controller, so you don't need really OSD on your camera. And this is a really nice camera. So I've got monitor over there. Let's hook up. Uh, 4S LiPo. 
got forest lipo over here my tattoo one so let's hook it up Got everything connected. Go monitor over there. Boom. Yeah. Friggin' rights. Finally, it's fixed. So I've got freaking nice video actually. Pretty nice video. I'll turn the full light. So you can see everything. Really nice video. Yeah, that's me. See you later. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I found. And the problem yesterday was with this flight controller. You need to give it power. So it's on this side where USB port is. Just turn it off first. Saving messengers. My messenger. Yeah, that's that was a problem with power yesterday because you need to choose. That's your VBAT. So you're giving VBAT first two pins. If you connect them together, you're giving full power. So your camera and uh, your VTX and if you connect second pin with third pin then you're giving 5 volts this rail over here over here for camera and VTX so it's OR 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 actually there's nothing in the middle or you're giving VBAT or you're giving 5 volts So that's it, that was problem, but I've cured it because uh, I found that you need to connect it together and then you're receiving power. So yeah, and that's this fried controller, F4, and it was pretty good. So I'll test fly it very soon, just put it back together and uh, probably next part will be just uh, FPV test flying of this squad and I uh, hope I can give it back to Martin so Martin it's nearly fixed as you can see just needs to test flight see you later and thanks for watching